Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to this week's Treasure Tuesday. This week we're looking at surah number 89. Do you have any ideas what surah number that what surah that is? If you guess surah Fajr, you're absolutely right. So, as you can see, my basket's super full. I've just finished putting them together, so I'm ready to share all the different treasures I found from surah Fajr this week. So let's get started. Now this surah is extremely special. This in the surah Allah starts by swearing. So he takes an oath by multiple things and we'll talk about it. So when Allah is swearing by it, he's talking about the importance of it. And these are his signs that we should look out for. So Allah says, I swear by Fajr, wal Fajr. I swear by Fajr. What is Fajr? Fajr is when that first light creeps in from behind the clouds early in the morning. So the light of the sun, when it creeps in. And Allah says, you know what else he swears by? He swears by the ten nights. He swears by the ten nights. Now these ten nights could be the nights, the first ten nights of Muharram. These ten nights could be the last ten nights of Shahrul Ramadan. So Allah knows best, but he swears by the ten nights. And he swears by the even nights and the odd nights. And he, then he said, and he swears by the night when it finishes. So when the sun is coming out, that's when the night finishes. He says to us, did you not see? So he's still talking about his signs. He says, do you not see what happened to those people, those Ad and Thamud, the people of their own? They used to be, build these big structures and they took so much pride in the things that they built. So I've got a rock because rocks are hard. And the people of Ad and Thamud actually used to build their homes in the rocks and they used to take so much pride and they used to cause so much mischief even the people of their own when they built their pyramids they used to cause so much mischief so Allah says do you not see what happened to them are they still alive no I didn't think so guess what Allah says he pours down punishment on them so I've got a measuring jar he pours down punishment on them because they used to cause corruption they used to close their ears they did not want to listen to the messages of the prophets that Allah had sent down upon them but Allah says you know what I'm going to give you the success recipe so I'm I've got a trophy so I'm going to give you the recipe for success what happens? How can we be successful? Let's find out. Allah says, if you feed the needy, yum, I've got a burger. So if you feed the needy and you honor and you give comfort, so I've got a blanket. If you honor and you give comfort and you take care of the orphans, if you share your wealth, you give them comfort, that is a recipe for success. Because you know what? Is any of this wealth, is it going to help us? No, because Allah says, you come from dust, you come from the earth. So I've got some sand here. So you come from the earth and you're going to go back to the earth. Nothing is going to help us. But if sometimes when we have this realization, it might be, so I've got a bulb for the realization when that light bulb goes on in our minds. But sometimes if we realize too late, the time is going to be run out. The time is going to have run out. So I've got a sand timer because it's going to be too late. And then we won't be able to successful. So we must do our best to receive an invitation. Where are we going to get invited to? We want to be invited to. So we want the doors of Jannah. We want the doors of, oops, I already told you. We want the doors of Jannah. So I've got a tree to represent Jannah. So we want the doors of Jannah to be in, to be inviting to us. They, we want them to be open to us. We want Allah to invite us into his Jannah right next to the Ahlul Bayt. So we must do our best to be successful. What is the recipe for success? If you said feeding the needy and taking care and providing comfort to the orphans, you're absolutely right. So these are the key lessons that we can take away from Surah Fajr. Inshallah, we'll see you tomorrow for Wordy Wednesday, where you will learn some new words that relate to Surah Fajr. See if you can find some beforehand. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.